Today we're taking a look at the brand new Generation 3 Fire TV. Now this is a drastic departure from the older Fire TV box. As you can see, it's more of a stick format with a kind of attached HDMI cable similar to the Chromecast. So let's kind of dive in here and see about how it looks, do a little unboxing, and then in this same video, I will put it head to head with the current Fire TV. Uh, second generation, I should say. This is now the current one. So right off the bat, a very similar packaging to the Fire TV. Um, let's kind of dive in the paperwork. So you got the um, menu, you got the Welcome to the Fire TV, it talks about the Elixir built in, different sales on there. Um, wall adapter there, so pretty standard. You have your power cable, it's a, again a micro USB um, one, very similar to what most Android phones still use today. The remote, let me see if I can get my hands on, there we go. So right off the bat, there's a second second piece of plastic there. Let's see here. They really stick that on there. There we go. They really don't want any scratches on that. So right off the bat, um, it's identical to the previous versions. It once again has the rubber buttons, which I kind of love. It gives the, the remote a little grip when you lay it face down so it doesn't slide all around, which is pretty cool there. Um, it does come with batteries for the remote, but let's dive into the actual Fire TV itself. Again, they got some pretty hefty plastic on this. There we go. So, all right. The Fire TV Generation 3. You see, it fits easily in the palm of my hand. A little three, four inch cable there. Uh, right off the bat, you see there's only one micro um, USB power uh, plug there. You can buy an adapter to plug in uh, to have a USB jack on that or Ethernet. Uh, but right now, this is what it comes with. It comes with an HDMI cable, comes with a power plug for micro uh, USB, which is surprisingly difficult. There we go, to get kind of an image on. But um, so that, that's everything comes with it. No uh, built-in USB, no built-in optical audio or Ethernet or anything like that. It just doesn't come with it. So you get the device, you get the remote. My camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. You get the power cable, you get the power plug, you get a manual and a deal offer sheet. And that is everything that comes with the third generation Fire TV. Hang on, I'm gonna do a little testing, come back here and give you my thoughts about this third generation Fire TV after I've tested it out. All right, I've been playing around with the third generation Fire TV for a little while, and I wanted to put it head to head against the second generation. There's not a lot to say about it unless you show them side by side. The menus are all the same. I do have one weird thing. The third generation's on the left, the second generation's on the right. My Apro on the new one doesn't want to fill up. I'm not sure what's happening there. I can't seem to fix that. Um, but let's dive in here and take a look at what is a faster device. So launching Netflix real quick here. Let's dive in. Uh, let's resume Last Chance U and see which one is faster. So the second generation was a little bit faster there. Let's keep going here. Um, the Memphis Bell, a classic... Great documentary. Waiting for the third generation to catch up. Back out, let's do that again. Hmm, let's load something else. Um, Rogue One. Let's quickly hit play on this, just for a quick moment. You see the second generation is known to be faster. Uh, let's uh, relaunch in again and take a look at this. Speed wise, let's pick a, a different one. Road to victory here. As you see, second generation is across the board on Netflix a lot faster. Um, let's kind of dive in here and take a look at um, Amazon Prime. So let's launch the video game years. Hit play in both. And you see the second generation again. I'm gonna keep going. Both of these, just to be clear, are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. They're both um, on LG TVs. So that should should hopefully help keep it consistent. Um, let's get in the mood for Christmas a little early. A little bit of fireplace. There we go. 
Um, I could keep going here, but you get the idea. I've been testing this for a little while. The second generation box, and we knew this from the specifications, is a more powerful device. It just is. It also costs more than what the third generation did. So the third generation is a cheaper device. Now, it does seem to be faster um, than some of the uh, sticks I've tested, but it's not as fast as the box. Uh, let's launch Alexa here and see what happens. What is the weather today? You know, and I've had this over and over again, and I think what is happening here is because I'm trying to do two Alexas at once, the Amazon is limiting me, preventing me from doing that to one. But in my testing, it's consistent. The second Fire TV will, Gen Fire TV will always be the one that picks up first. What is the weather outside? And there it is. The second generation Fire TV is just faster. So it's beating out the third generation when I try to do side by side and Amazon cancels out the second request for it. Um, as far as menus, it's pretty consistent. Everything, there we go. Not sure what happened there. You see, scrolling through, very consistent experience here. Very smooth on both of these. So. Would I buy this? Yes, I would buy the third generation. It's a very nice device. At price point, Alexa built into it is an excellent sound feature there. If you love the Fire TV and you need a new Fire TV, the third generation is great. If I have a second generation though, I wouldn't upgrade. I don't see any reason to, to throw away your second generation Fire TV to get the third generation. The second generation is a little slow or faster. It has a micro SD memory card slot, built in ethernet things that you would have to buy an adapter for on the third generation and spend more money. So if you have this um, second generation, I wouldn't upgrade. Um, I haven't seen anything here for the average cord cutter that would make me say that the third generation right now is worth spending the money to upgrade. It's just not there at the moment. If I'm buying new, I would get whatever I would get the best deal on. The third generation is an excellent device, great option for new cord cutters. The Wi-Fi performance is great. The streaming performance is great. It's fast enough. Um, I just wouldn't be spending money to upgrade if I already owned one. Questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, I mean, across the board, it's a nice device. It's the Amazon Fire TV. And if you like the Fire TV, this is still an excellent device for that. So let me know what your questions are. Do my best to answer them. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern for our weekly cord cutting Q and A's where we answer your cord cutting related questions and help you get the most out of your cord cutting experience. You can find us at cordcuttersnews.com and on Facebook and Twitter, just search for Cord Cutters News. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.